Let's get started. Last call of the year. So crazy. Um, I'm super excited because we talked a little bit about the all access last week, but um, I've been connecting with some of the leaders in our larger team about it and just kind of getting the fire. And so I want to kind of share that with you guys tonight because this is such a big deal and it can transform your business. So we're going to kind of dive into a little bit about the all access and um, kind of painting the vision of where we want to go as a team for the new year. Um, a couple quick things before we start. If you haven't listened to the national wake up call from this week and last week, definitely get on, get fired up. Um, Keisha, Keisha, I forget how to say her name. Um, Keisha Fitzgerald, she talks about attracting the perfect customer. And I think that that's so brilliant this time of year. Um, so it was a really good call and she's just, she's someone our age. So she kind of speaks to our niche and I just love hearing her speak and she gives actionable items. It's not just like, Oh, this is a great success. Like she gives you tips to kind of take and take action on. Um, the accountability event that I shared in the team page is a free event. So if you have anybody you've been talking to for a while, they like have been wishy-washy, they won't commit to a group, invite them to that event and get them in there so that they can learn a little bit more about the health bet. I'm going to be talking about the all access on demand. Um, all you guys have to do, you should be able to just go to the event and then click invite friends and you can invite as many friends as you want. So I would just invite, all I did was invite everybody and anybody I've talked to about a challenge group before. Um, just get them in there. And even if they don't accept the invite, they're still going to see when people go live. So I know um, I have a post going up tomorrow morning explaining about Beachbody On Demand. And Lauren's going to go live tomorrow afternoon about the new year and why she why challenge groups have helped her commit. So if you guys are open to going live um, Thursday or Friday about an aspect of an accountability group or why it's helped you stay consistent, um, shoot me a message and let me know because I'd love to get some different perspectives rather than just Danielle talking in there. Plus it'll show your challengers, you know, that it's helped you and it's real and we're a team doing it together. So I just, I think that that's something that we may run quarterly. Um, because I think people have this made up vision of what an accountability group is and they, they don't really get like, it's not that hard. Um, so let me know what you guys think. If you have any feedback on it, I just thought of it kind of last minute and threw it up there. So it seems to be going well for people that have been wishy washy for me. Um, for the all access, like I said, we're going to get into that a little bit. But if you haven't gone and read the FAQ for the All Access Challenge Pack, I believe it's um, it's either 3102 or 3012 is the number. I can't remember. Don't quote me. But go read the FAQ on it so you guys know, like, okay, if I have a customer that's already signed up for a challenge pack, how much are they going to get charged? Or I want to sign somebody up um, new. What's the best way to do that? Just go in there and get yourself familiar with the FAQ about the All Access Challenge Pack. Um, it is long, but you guys are your own bosses, so you should know what's going on. Um, so get in the FAQ about that. Second to last thing, Super Saturday coming up. Who's going? Everybody's going, I think, right? Yay! That's like the first time ever. So I'm excited about it. I think we'll probably have a team call in January to kind of regroup and, and talk about you guys know they always have new announcements so i'm excited about that um and then just something coming up in january so you guys know the success club trip for 2018 will get announced in probably the second week of january and then they open up the um the registration in like tiers so obviously like top 10 coaches and things like that get access first but I wanted to let you know this because all of your success club points you earn this year put you in a virtual line for when you're allowed to register for that trip. So if you are interested in registering for that trip, hustle hard for the last four, what we have four days left in the year um, and get as many success club points, change as many lives is really what it's about so that you have a higher position in the virtual line because it's becoming so popular. Um, and I just want to, I was reminding Emily, I'm like, all I did was to get on that cruise this year was help three people every month. It's not hard. 
<laughs> when you break it down like that. So, you know, think about that as your goals come to the forefront of your mind and maybe you've had a rough year. Maybe there's things that have been holding you back, but now you get a chance to say, you know what, the next 12 months are going to be different and I get to write them. I'm going to own them. And I really think this is like the best time you guys have everything at your fingertips to succeed. So, all right, let's get in. Cause this is going to be like a half and half call. I'm going to start off talking about the all access challenge pack. Um, because it's such a game changer. Obviously it, it got, unless you've been living under a rock, it got released today. Um, so use the resources that I gave you guys. Um, there's two different links that I posted on the team page. One is for a current challenger. So they've already signed up for a challenge pack and they want to upgrade. Every single one of your customers should be upgrading. And if you guys haven't upgraded yet, get your butts on and do it because you can't ask somebody else to do it unless you do it. Um, you want to reach out to those inactive people. You want to reach out to the people who've canceled. You want to reach out to the people that have been quiet. Everybody and anybody that you've been talking to, you need to let them know about this because they are going to spend their money somewhere. Wouldn't you rather them spend their money on something that's a long-term 12 month commitment where you get to help them every month? I mean, the gym's not going to call them out on their BS. The gym's not going to call them when they don't show up and it's snowy and rainy. The gym's not going to call them when they're just like walking on the treadmill for 10 minutes and then they leave. You guys will. You're the difference. You're the magic pill in this whole kind of um, solution for people right now. The, the mindset has shifted from last week's team call where everybody wasn't answering us and nobody was commenting or liking on our posts and, you know, people just weren't on Facebook. They're now thinking, I feel like crap. I need to make a change and I don't know where to go. So everything you do now matters. Okay. I want you guys to treat this new challenge pack release as like your baby, like something that you have built, you have created and you're ready to launch it. You wouldn't just like tell one person about it. Like if you opened a restaurant, what would you do? You would put marketing out. You would get in the newspapers. You would get on emails. You would talk to your friends about it. This challenge pack's got to be like your new restaurant. And it only succeeds if you get out there and talk about it, right? Um, it's got to be the thing. Like, you guys can make this your best thing. It, it takes all of us together working together. Like, I don't know if you guys realize this, but you're on a side of my business, a leg of my business. And so some of you are on the same side and you benefit from each other. And some of you are on the other side and you benefit from each other. So if Jackie sells a challenge pack, Emily could benefit. If I sell a challenge pack, Amanda benefits. If Amanda sells a challenge pack, I benefit, but we don't all benefit unless everybody hustles, unless everybody shows up, unless everybody shares this. So like you may look at your bank account every week and maybe you're sick of seeing zero. Maybe you're sick of seeing not where you want to be. Maybe you're not happy with your rank. Maybe you're not happy with your income. This challenge pack can change that if we all commit to it and we all get out there and we don't act salesy because our business is about people, right? It's not about $199, not about workouts. It's about connecting people with a long-term solution. Something that none of you had, but you're still here. I know most of you have bought at least two workouts, right? You don't have to do that anymore. How awesome is that, that every single month you can have something new to look forward to? That's what you need to sell, the feeling, the story, the power behind what you're doing. I, I just like, in our, not in our direct team, but like in a lot of coaches, they've gone back to those old reverted ways where it's new and we want to share everything about it. And we're so excited about it. Guys, be people don't know what beach body on demand is. People don't know what autumn is. People don't know what, um, streaming or challenge tracker app is. You have to take that beach body jargon out of your post and out of your messages because nobody knows what that is until they're like in the bubble. Right? So instead of sharing 21 day fix 30 minute, mix of workouts at home, you know, a little bit of each instead of core to force. It's 
MMA style kickboxing workouts. It's the same thing. Come up with a cool solution. Netflix for fitness. People know what that is. Amazon Prime for fitness. People know what that is. Talk about that instant gratification because that's what our society lives off of. How many of you bought a Christmas gift last minute? I know I did. I relied on Amazon Prime, right? So you have to treat this like Amazon Prime. It's something that is going to save people. It's going to be that last minute solution that they make a last minute decision on and you guys only have less than 48 hours to help them do that because you know December 29th is the last day somebody can commit to the health bet so that their Shakeology ships in time and all of that jazz. So you guys have 36 hour, wait, something like that, 36 hours to hit the ground running. Get out and talk to everybody about this. Treat it like your baby, like your brand new restaurant. And the only way it succeeds or fails or it starts with you. Pretty cool. It's like exciting. You can't take it fearful. You have to believe that this is the solution for somebody. You guys have a story. You have a story from buying a challenge pack. But what happened when those 21 days were over? Did you quit? Did you maybe fall off? Did you start eating bad again? Did you start um, reverting back to your old ways? That's relatable. But this takes those excuses out of it. Um, you know, be the, maybe you choose to be the best on this team at this challenge back. How cool would that be? You learn everything about it. You share about it every day. Not salesy, but talking about relationships, talking about connectivity, and talking about giving people the best solution for their goals. Because when I've talked to people about this challenge pack, the conversation goes the same way. What are you currently doing for your workouts? What does your typical day of meals look like? What is your current struggles? You know, all those typical questions that we've talked about. The conversation goes the same way, but here's the difference. When they pick 21 Day Fix and Shakeology, like most people do, I say, awesome. The cool thing about this is that you don't have to just commit to those 21 days and be done and throw your results out the window. You actually have the opportunity to have access to every single workout, but we can start with the 21 Day Fix. And then when you're done with that, or you get bored, or you hate it, or you get injured, we have another tool in the toolbox to keep you going through the whole year. And it's only a $40 difference. Might as well just upgrade now so that you have access to everything all at once and we can find the best solution for you. They're like, sweet, cool. Sign me up. That's how I hit success goes up today. That's the only difference in the conversation. And I want you guys to remember that because if you give people, hey, there's $6,000 of workouts and there's all these workouts and this is everything that's included, that's too much. It's too, much, too overwhelming for people. I mean, think about when you guys started. Did your coach send you six workouts? No, they probably sent you two choices based on what you said. You want to approach it the same way, but you give the option to say, hey, for $40 more, you don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to make a choice when you travel. You don't have to get bored. And we always have another tool in the toolbox. Does that kind of make sense? When you approach somebody and they say yes to a challenge group, this should be the only thing that you're offering. Mind blown. They don't need to know that there's other challenge packs. You're the boss. You're the coach. You suggest what is the best option for them. If they tell you that they want to lose 20 pounds, they're not going to lose that one month, guys. That's where this is the game changer. If they are struggling with their nutrition and they eat really poorly, that's not going to change in 30 days, right? It takes a longer amount of time to create consistent daily good choices and good behavior for people. So that's where this challenge pack can be the magic pill. It can be the thing that gives you the instant connectivity to them to help them achieve their goals. Uh, so you're going to continue to ask them questions about their goals. You're going to ask them about their current routine. You're still going to make a recommendation for a workout for them to start with. But then you're going to share that link that I gave you guys and let them visually see everything that they get and say, does that sound good? Use your tools the same way we use videos. 
It's, it's supposed to act the same way. And even better, why don't you guys record a video, upload it onto YouTube, and share what this all access is all about. You all have Zoom. You can easily record on here, make a YouTube channel, upload it, and then use that video every time you talk to somebody and you recommend and you come up with a workout and you come up with Shakeology and it's good, then you say, hey, I think this is the best way for you to go about it. Send them the video and just share why you think this is the best way for them to go approach their goals. It's so much easier and it's from you, your voice, your passion, your just, you know, honesty with them about why this is the best way to go about it. And that's going to get them hooked. Um, what else? Um, so again, if you're unhappy with your commissions, your volume, I've heard in the network there's a lot of complaints about volumes down. It doesn't change unless we all change, unless we all hustle, unless we all share this. So we have to decide as a team, and that's why we're going to set goals tonight, that we will no longer allow what's happened is to continue. You know, we're going to raise the bar for ourselves. We're, Carl's given us the golden ticket. He's given us the health bet. He's given us the challenge pack for all access all year long. All you got to do is go share it, which is pretty cool. Um, so, you know, think about it this way. What if we all tonight embraced this challenge pack and we took it and we ran with it? And tonight we sent 10 messages to 10 people on said, hey, I've been really thinking about you. I hope you had an awesome Christmas. I wanted to see if you're setting any goals for the new year because I'd love to support you in making those a reality. Do you guys think you could send 10 messages like that tonight? I think so. So that's going to be your challenge. And let's hold each other accountable to embrace this challenge pack and run with it. I want to remind you guys just like, let's take a step back for a second and just think about what this can do for your business. All you have to do to hit Success Club now for the next three months until the end of February is to help two people, which honestly, I think that's way too little. I think you should be helping more people. But with this challenge pack, you get three Success Club points. That means they're giving you more money towards the Success Club trip. Sorry, more, um, more commission. You're getting a $70 commission on this. So all you do is help two people to pay off your Shakeology. You are, um, that, that success club point is super important now because it revolves around the success club trip. It revolves around summit and you hitting success starters and your future coaches hitting success starters and hitting success club legends and all stars. It's making it so much easier for you guys. So two people, pays off your Shakeology, you get three success club points for every challenge pack that you sell, which is putting more money in your pocket, paying off your future vacation, getting you to summit and giving you more residual income with higher volume too. There's a higher PV on this challenge pack, which is why our volume's gonna shoot up. If you're on my left leg, you've probably already seen your volume go crazy high because you're linked to Liz Hartke. On my right side, you have to build it yourself. <laughs> Not necessarily, but on our, that team, it's just our team building it. Um, so think about it this way. If you see a thousand volume points on one leg and zero on the other, guys, that's 14 times um, five cycle bonuses, whatever that is. I can't do the math, 14 times five. Um, that's like $75 you're missing out on if you don't just help two people on the other leg. $75 in residual income on top of your commission. That's how I always think about it when I'm building. If I don't want to do my power hour this week, that means I'm leaving money on the table. I don't want to leave money on the table. Do you guys? I don't. I mean, that's how I kind of look at it when I'm not motivated. Go look at your volume and see what your left and right leg's at. And if the one side's zero, that's on you to build, nobody else. And this challenge pack can build it fast because it's higher volume per challenge pack. Does that kind of make sense? You with me? I'm not speaking Spanish over here? Okay. Doesn't make can share. Um, what else? So I want to give you guys um, 
some tips on what I've done to make this challenge pack really happen. Number one, I've reached out to all of my coaches and discount coaches and shared that link with them. Um, they already know what Beachbody On Demand is, so you can send them, um, I forget which is which now, I'm getting confused, but I think it's Glow Diggers Bod is the link for existing customers. Go share it with all your existing customers and say, hey, health bet's coming up. I really want you to be a part of it. Um, why don't you upgrade to this so that we can get you back on track, find a new program, and we can work together throughout the whole entire year to always have something new and exciting to get um, motivated towards. So that's number one. You send them a text message, send them an email, whatever best way to connect with your existing challengers, okay? Um, the first thing I did with people. So I want to ask you guys a question. Do you ask for people's email when you're talking to them? Okay, we need to change that. Here's why. Um, Facebook could die tomorrow. And if Facebook died tomorrow, would your business die? So if you're thinking like, oh, kind of, ask people when they say yes to an accountability group or if they're not answering you as much, I always ask, hey, is text or email better so that we can stay in touch? Because this allows me instant access to them, guys. Everybody checks their email and everybody checks their text messages. They're less likely to avoid you. Facebook Messenger, they can easily avoid you. And that's something that I think has saved my business because um, in the beginning, like Shalene Johnson, if you listen to her training, she always says, get people's emails. And here's why. I have all of my emails in Streak. You guys know I use Streak. It might be something you might consider as your business is going to catapult into 2017. And I can send mass emails on there. So like I send an email to all of you guys, you probably got it, um, saying happy holidays. That was my first touch point. And I sent it to my coaches because I thought it was nice and you guys were included. But all of you got it. And it was just one email. I typed it up and I clicked mail merge, selected the people, and it sent like 500 emails out. The, sec the thing is, it takes seven touch points for somebody to say yes usually. So this is what, what I'm kind of building up to. On streak, you can create one email again and send it to multiple people. So like I have a customer file, which is just my beach body customers, anybody that signed up with me. And so I sent them an email with the link explaining what this is and how to upgrade on their own. They got it. And then I have another file of people I've talked to but have never bought from me. And so I sent them an email saying, hey, the health bet's coming up. All I did was copy paste a Facebook post, guys. So the work was already done. It was just copy pasting the information in a different way. And it's at least allowed all of my inactives to go actives. So my ranks stable and my volumes higher. And I also personally connected with all of those challengers and personal contacts through Facebook Messenger or text message. So this may seem really overwhelming for you right now. But step one, connect with anybody who signed up with you. So all you have to do is go to, I'm gonna share my screen to show you. All you have to do is go to my business, my customers, customer search. And I actually, so this is everybody that signed up with me, free leads, everybody's on here, okay? And you should be connecting with your free leads. I actually exported this as an Excel document and then imported it into Streak. You can Google how to do that if you would like to figure that out. But um, if you don't have that many people, you can just copy paste their email and send them an individual email that you guys know how to do that. But this is everybody, all of my free leads, all of my discount coaches, everybody on here. Um, and I do that monthly. So that's just something if your free leads are growing and you're hitting success club consistently, you might want to think about doing that. Um, but the second thing that I've been doing is obviously using Facebook. So having a list, like I tell you guys, every single month, having a list of challengers and coaches that I want to sign up this month. And I message every single one of them. Hope you have a great Christmas. We'd love to catch up the next week. And then today I messaged them again and said, 
hey, wanted to see how your Christmas is going. Um, you know, I have this awesome health bet coming up. I'm not sure if you're setting any goals for 2017. Uh, would you be interested at all? It's just multiple touch points and showing that you care as a person. And so what you guys can do tonight is if you haven't made your list, make your list or take your old list and make a new list and add new conversations that you've been having or people that you want to go retouch to and ask them for their email, ask them for their text message. People don't answer me on Facebook. I go through and I text message them. Um, it's not to be annoying. It's just to say like, I know you don't go on Facebook usually. So I wanted to make sure I contacted you here. Um, and I think the big thing is, is like, you have to have the mindset that I'm moving forward with or without you. Like I'm doing this all access with or without you. And so if the person doesn't answer you, keep moving, find the next person that does want to do it. That's how I treat my business. And then the same thing goes with our team. Like you guys can show, choose to show up on these team calls or not. I'm going to give you my time and I'm going to move forward with or without you. And that's not to be mean. That's just to say, I'm going to work with the willing and work with the people that are going to put in the time and the effort. Cause I don't have to get on and do a team call every week. You know what I mean? When you treat your challengers that way too, you know, you still stay connected. You still give them the option, but you're going to show them consistently on your Facebook every single day that you're showing up and then you're going to connect with them behind the scenes however that best works for you so you might want to consider start collecting emails um, or at least getting people's text message uh, phone number sorry so that you have more of a direct connection to them and ask them which is the best way to get a hold of them um, I guess the last thing with this is like if you don't like where you're at you get to decide whether you do something about it and again, that's just my little tough love. You get to decide if you want to take these items and run with them or you want to keep doing the same thing. Because if where you are is not where you're happy, it's time to just like self-evaluate, maybe ask somebody on the team, hey, like what do you think of these posts this week? Or um, like we talked about on the social media, I'll show you guys. Social media team call we did the other day. Um, easiest way to check your Facebook and what you're posting is to go to your Facebook, click photos. Sorry, Jackie, you're seeing this repeated. Click your photos and look at the last few photos of what you posted. Does it reflect what you're trying to attract? Does it show you're consistent? Does it show that you're a health and fitness coach? Does it show whatever your five things are? It's just getting back to basics, guys. Um, for me, food, fashion, travel, family, fitness. This is how I check myself every single day. So it's no coincidence that, yeah, it is hitting my five and recognition is in there. Um, fourth vital behavior, just saying, but that's a great way to check yourself and just get back to those basics. If it's too much to get out of this, like just think about connecting with people and connecting with as many people as you can, because you want to help them, not because you want a success club point or you want to sign them up with all access because you truly want to help them make a change just like you have this past year. So lead with that servant's heart and lead with what can I do for you? You know, how can I help you get through this time where you're not feeling well or you're not feeling confident? You know, how can we work through that? Just be their friend and then just have a lot of those conversations. That's all I do guys. I tell you guys this every single month. The only reason I have success club members number one it's a mindset choice that hey I'm not gonna let anybody on this team get higher than me because I want to lead from the front and number two I know that you, nobody will work as hard as me and so I want to set the bar high so that you guys keep running higher and you guys see that if I can do it you can do it because the only difference is is that I just talk to more people that's it so you get to set your bar, you get to decide what you're going to do and decide that this is your year. This is, you're doing the damn thing. You're taking this all access to the top and you're not letting anybody or anything or any response hold you back from doing so. And when you make that mindset decision and mindset shift, I promise you, you will be on that success club trip free in 2018. That's all I did last year. It wasn't, it wasn't like a magic thing. All right, any questions about all access? 
guys know how to move forward. I guess the biggest thing is don't be salesy. Don't be that marketing person or I will come and slap you. <laughs> We're not that team. That's not what we stand for. So um, I just want to keep throwing that out there. Share you, share your story. All right. Is that Shannon on the phone? Yeah. Awesome. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I wanted to now that I'm done chatting, throw out to you guys, um, you know, what do you guys want for our team in 2017? So obviously we all have personal goals and we all have things we want to achieve. Where do you guys want to be, you know, December 27th? 2017 what what does the vision for our team look like for you guys and where do you want to see it grow it's a conversation not like a on the spot anybody i know you got goals and it can be grown from like your goals where you want to be Shannon, you got anything? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I, w I mean, I'm just excited to, to grow our team and meet all the other new coaches that we'll recruit this year and um, just kind of like build the family bigger. I think that's my, that's kind of what I see in the year for us. It's just that just depth and just sharing with more people what we're doing. Probably not a really complicated one. Mm -hmm. No, that's actually what Emily and I just talked about earlier. Is that like I know in 2016 we haven't grown like I've wanted us to grow, and I'm sure you guys probably feel the same way. That you know, where do those coaches come from? What? How do I grow my team? What does that look like? And I think it's really just doing a better job of um, sharing the vision, both good, bad, and ugly. Right? You know, sharing that you're giving up an hour on a holiday week where maybe some of you have time off and you're at family's houses and things are crazy, but you're committed to the larger vision and, you know, getting up early to work on your business because you're passionate about it on top of working full time and not being afraid to share those things because there's other people out there in our generation that want that freedom that are willing to put in the sacrifice that they know there's kind of an end result. Like it's two to three years of hard work. And I'm going to prove that to you guys this year, mark my words, by quitting my job. So it's insane to say, but it really can happen in two to three years of hard work. Um, and even less. Some people are crazy and have done it in less. But I was saying to Emily, like, you know, sharing, not just sharing, like, the pretty pictures on the beach while that's nice and all. It's not really relata relatable. What's relatable is, like, sitting down and writing out goals. A lot of people are doing that right now. How, how does that look and why is that important? And why are your goals for your business a big part of this year? You know, um, sorry, my emails annoying. Um, so I, I, as a leader need to do a better job on how can we duplicate, um, better? How can we share the opportunity better? And, I think that comes with the team coming together and sharing ideas of how to go about that, you know? Um, the other thing I wanted to share is like for 2017, like you guys have to do what feels right for you, right? You're an independent team beach body coach. So just because Danielle wants something, doesn't mean that that aligns with Amanda or Emily's goals, right? But we're still a team and we still work together and we still have the same vision and passion um, of helping people. But, you know, take ownership of where you are and where you want to go and be okay with that. You know, maybe you want to be a diamond coach this year and that's awesome. What are you going to do to get there? What are you going to own your business to get there? What are you going to do differently this year to get there that maybe you couldn't accomplish this year? You know, so you have to think long and hard about owning what you do every day to build to that goal. Cause it takes time. It takes effort. Um, 
it usually doesn't happen when you want it to. That's kind of how this business works. It happens when you put in the work and it just will naturally happen. Um, the one thing that I always like to say is don't ever wish for something in this business, right? You got to work for it. And when you put in the work, the success reflects that. So um, I don't know if you guys have heard Scotty Hobbs before. I've shared a few of his calls in the past. <clears throat> Excuse me. But like he said, you know, some people will get to Thursday and they'll get super jealous. Everybody else is rank advancing. Everybody else is hitting success club. Everybody else is being celebrated. But why not me? You know, poor me attitude, right? He gets up and he literally jumps around. He like throws on some jams. He like dances around and he just like shares positivity. Like he just gives himself no ounce of a negative mindset. And he goes on and just congratulates everybody like to the moon and back because what you focus on expands. So if you focus on, I'm not right convincing, I'm not hitting success club, I have nobody to talk to, you're right. You're not going to get that. But if you focus on, oh my God, Emily is crushing it in her transformation. I've got to go love on her post today. Or, oh my gosh, Jackie is showing up in the challenge tracker app. Like I want to shout her out. Don't wait for me to celebrate stuff. That's why we wanted to start the coach of the week because I wanted to come from you guys. I wanted it to be a, a tribe thing, not a Danielle thing uh, because our team will not grow if it's just Danielle. Our team will grow if you guys say, oh my God, Shannon is just crushing it with her videos. Like I'm going to just shout her out on the team page because I think she deserves it. Those little things, guys, when you guys step up as the leader and you guys step up and celebrate and you guys step up and share the love, is when our team will grow because people want to be there. They see the vision, they see the light. And it doesn't matter if Jackie gets to diamond before Emily, it matters that she got there and we're going to celebrate the heck out of her. You know what I mean? Um, so that's what I want to create for 2017. You know, no matter where we are now and where we go, I want us to celebrate the heck out of it. I mean, recognition is number four vital behavior this year for a reason. Um, so I just wanted to share that story because I thought that, you know, we're team glow diggers and there's always been an S on the end for a reason because you can't do this business alone. Um, and so if you focus on that as to like, I don't have coaches right now, that's not going to grow. You have to focus on who can I give this gift today? Who can I make smile today? You know, the little things add up. Um, so what other, what other goals do you guys have for 2017 that you want to see, you know, our team expand and grow into? You know, put me on the spot again. Or what have you loved that we've done this year that you want to expand on? What you got, Amanda? I'm just sitting here thinking kind of personally. Um, for me, I got really discouraged with no's in the past, like, couple months. It's just been, like, a gradual, like, decline, I feel like. Um, so for me, it's working up the energy and courage to invite those people again or invite different people again. So I was actually just sitting here messaging some people. Um, so that's up to a start. But I think for me, it's expanding and taking control of everything that's going on. Because I think the second I get stressed out, it just all goes down the drain, you know, so. I love that. Celebrate the no's. Maybe we need to do a recognition on that. How many no's are you going to get today? Because because you're hearing no, it means that you're planting the seed and you're putting effort out. The no is better than nothing at all, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so that's a good... We need to start something like that. What have you liked that we've done as a team this year? Um, I like how we all seem to be on the same page with promoting um, things that are going on. And I know I've learned a lot from um, a lot of you guys about posting. I think I got into the salesy rut in the Facebook posts. And it's something that's really been throwing me off for a while. 
Um, I actually just sat down today and I was like, all these are salesy and awful and I feel the need to delete them, but I won't. But, um, (laughs) so, um, that's, I think something that I'm learning from the whole team. So it's been nice to able to have mentors to figure all that out. So. And maybe it's something, you know, Hey, Emily, could you check my post once a week and can we check in with each other and see number one, are we posting? Are we posting a mix of things? Like you just go check Emily's photos and say like, hey, I haven't seen you post about Shakeology. This is what Noel and I literally have a conversation of at least once a week. Hey, I haven't seen you post about Shakeology. You know, it's time to share about that. Or, um, you know, I'll send her a graphic if I think it's too much before I post it. That checks and balances has helped me so much. So don't be afraid to connect with somebody on the team and ask them for just some input and allow them to be honest, of course, because I mean, we're all here to get better and learn and grow. And every single one of us has posted something we don't like. That's just comes with failing forward. So I like, I like that you said that. Um, and you just get better, you know? Mm-hmm. What about you, Emily? What have you liked this year or think we can expand upon? I just have me and myself. Um, I I like when every once in a while we do like the um, team challenge groups, like we're gonna do for a health bet. Um, I like when we do that. So maybe if like every couple months we kept doing that in 2017, mm-hmm. it just kind of switches it up and gives like um, you know our challengers just a you know a new group of people, like a fresh group of people. Um, I think that was really good, and I would like to. Um, I don't know, just see any kind of like rank advancement for our team um, and like a comfortable rank advancement um, where we're not in like a race for it at the end of the year. <laughs> you and me both. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Um, anything else? Um, I guess along with that, just, just seeing like our team grow and just, you know, us getting more coaches and everything like that. It sounds like you and Amanda need to check each other's posts and say, hey, I haven't seen you share about the coaching <laughs> opportunity. Uh, yeah, that in? probably. It probably would be a good idea. Um, it's just always the little things. What you got, Amanda? Oh, I was just going to say, I'm going to take Emily up on that because I have to change mine before I write the same thing over again. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's time. Yeah. You both are ready. I'll your life. Don't worry. <laughs> Shannon, what you got? Well, York first one. He's here, by the way, listening. He, oh, we just have one phone. Um, he wanted to say that he loves uh, have, like mix when we that we mixed in occasional speakers with our team calls. Mm-hmm. Um, just like having ones that are for us that are kind of like us brainstorming, but then also occasionally bringing in like that outside perspective is kind of always uh, nice, like to mix it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I just got so distracted sharing his I lost mine. I totally forgot what I was going to say. But, yeah, I am really excited about just kind of the growth and consistency is, like, always a challenge for me and always kind of, like, the goal I'm setting, like, being more consistent about checking it with team stuff and also just my own personal stuff. So, um, yeah, I guess that would be two things for me. Awesome. I, I definitely think team um, – Speakers are good. It's finding a good balance for me because sometimes I'm like, oh, I got like five lined up and then I feel like we never get to chat. So um, if you guys have anybody in particular that you want on a team call to speak, let me know. Um, Obviously, I can't pull Katie Hefner's out every single week, but, you know, I can pull strings where they are needed. But I think that also goes along with I want to bring a speaker on this team call when it's stacked with our team, right? You know, stacked with a lot of coaches who are willing to learn and grow. And so that starts with the five of us getting out there and sharing the coaching opportunity on a weekly basis. Um, Because, I mean, I, like, I look at Kelsey Pape guys and, well, Kelsey Smith now, and we can literally do what she did last year. She was barely a diamond coach in January and she is going to hit five star elite at the end of this year. And that's, she's not the only one. There's other coaches that have done it. And so I want you guys to realize that 
you know, you can change your business dramatically in 12 months. And you just have to take it on a quarterly basis. Like the next 12 weeks, what do you want to get? And then break it down by month. You know, what are you going to focus on January? Maybe it's getting bomb challengers with bomb results and then inviting them to the coaching opportunity two weeks into our health bet, sharing more about that and getting them on board in February so that they can grow, they can learn, and they can hit the ground running come March, April, May into the summer, excuse me. So when you think about it like that, if you feel like you're not getting coaches, I mean, I had to check myself on this for a while. You just need to focus on getting a shit ton of challengers and getting them bomb results. And that just means connecting with more people. It's really simple. Um, because I want, I want the growth too. You know, I want to pay this forward to more women who feel stuck and are not feeling confident right now and can't fit in the pair of jeans. You know, think to those little things and speak to that. Um, so I will say, I'm sure you guys already know. Oh, Jackie, we'll have you. Um, what do you feel like our team has done well this year and maybe something you want us to expand on as we go into the new year? Um, I think that we've done an awesome job about staying positive and um, kind of spreading that positivity out. Um, something that we could probably work more on is probably more reflecting on myself, but being more involved in the team. And obviously, you know, like you had mentioned before, not at just being focused on you doing all the work. Mm -hmm. I love that. Great points. I love how you guys all have brought something different to the table. Um, Sorry, my computer shut down like <laughs> randomly, but you're okay. Um, That's why we recorded the call. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's no secret, guys. Like, I mean, I can share my goals with you guys for 2017. They're big, they're huge, but they've got to be because of the big goal that I'm pushing for. Um, and that's not on you; that's on me. I, obviously I want to help as many of you go as far as you want this year and the sky is really the limit which is the awesome thing so I think it's just it's getting back to basics you know sitting down doing your power hour each day plugging into the team which you guys are way ahead of the people that aren't on the team call tonight and I give you huge props for that during a holiday week um and just believing in yourself you know Believe that you can hit Success Club and help two people the next three months. Believe that you can help hit Success Club and help two people the next four days. I mean, you guys can do that. You've done it before. Um, and just setting your mind on the path of like, I'm owning this. I'm owning where I am. And I'm painting the vision for where I want to go. And maybe that's getting in the team page and going live and sharing out loud what you want this year. Um, because I think often when you say it out loud, it's like, now I put that out there. It was like, for me sharing that I went to quit my job was like, oh shit, I actually just said that. Um, but when you put it out into the universe, it really, really does come back around to you. Just a small side story like that, um, house I'm going to in LA, I totally thought like, oh, the architect's never going to email me back. And he emailed me back. He's like, come on over. Like, I'd love to have you. So I really truly believe what you put out there will if you work hard enough and you believe in it enough it will transpire um so i just wanted to give get on and kind of end the year strong let's get some coaches in success club you guys can all help two people in the next four days what do you think think you can help too i know you can um so let's let's get the the positivity flowing if you have anything that works for you share it in the team page um if you have something that's exciting and a win of the day share it in the team page anything and everything is welcome and let's get this team blowing up cool all right guys leave everything on the floor andrew you're strong and thank you for hopping on tonight i will see you in january bye, bye.